The fact that it just boosted its buyback and also raised its dividend just go goes to show all that cash that it was holding on to, how it's putting it to use. Let's get more on Apple's results and bring in Bloomberg Technology host Emily Chang in San Francisco. Emily. Hey there, Scarlett. And I actually did just get off the phone with Tim Cook. And I do want to highlight uh, that point you mentioned from that interview that he has seen a pickup uh, so far in April. Digging into the numbers a little bit first, though, obviously these numbers are a lot stronger than most people expected, especially when it comes to that headline revenue number. Apple still growing a percent year over year. iPhone sales were down about 6.7% from a year ago, but we saw some analysts saying they could be down more than 30 uh, percent. Services and wearables really driving the growth here, services surging to a record uh, up 17 percent. Now, my first question to Tim Cook was, well, what are you seeing right now? And how does that compare to what you saw, let's say, uh, the last few weeks of March? And he told me the last part of March and the first part of April were very depressed. And then we've seen a pickup relative to that period of time in the second half of April. We're not projecting what it, we're going to do this quarter because of the lack of certainty and the lack of visibility that we've got. So Apple also not giving a forecast right now simply because, you know, they just can't see that far ahead. But he said he believes this pickup that they've seen so far in April has been driven by the new products they, that they were able to release over the last few weeks. That's the cheaper iPhone SE, the MacBook Air, the iPad Pro, people getting used to the pandemic. This is the way things are right now. And also uh, the stimulus from the federal government. So did he uh, talk about at all, uh, Emily, about Apple's uh, operations, meaning their own people uh, being able to get back to work, whether they're factories uh, over in China, whether they're going to be back up and running? How's that going? You know, I always try to get some insight on future products for Tim Cook, and that's uh, where they, they draw the line at Apple. They really don't talk about future products, but what he did say uh, is that they couldn't be more proud of their current product lineup, and they are excited as ever about the pipeline. My question was, is this going to impact the products we expect to see later this year? Of course, Bloomberg has reported that uh, the new phones that we're all expecting to be unveiled in September could be pushed out a few weeks. Uh, no indication from Cook there on that. But he did say that they have rapidly built the muscle, quote unquote, to run the company this way. So not indicating any extreme supply chain disruptions and indicating that they are uh, doing a fairly good job running the company with all of their employees uh, working from home, essentially. And of course, Emily, um, Apple was impacted very early on by the COVID-19 because of its reliance on what happens in China, its supply chain. So much of it is based there. Did Apple give any color when it comes to its China sales and how things are going over there? Yeah, it's interesting. He actually broke this quarter down into three quarters because the first third, you know, obviously things were really disrupted in China. Then you had uh, the second half where uh, the second third where uh, the pandemic was starting to spread around the world. And then the third half, third, 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 uh, where, of course, it really took hold in the United States and Europe, of course, Stores in China right now, all of them have reopened. And the big question is, when will stores continue to reopen around the world? They're preparing to reopen stores in Austria and Australia. And he also told me that as far as stores opening in the United States, he said by the first half of May, somewhere in that ballpark, I think initial stores in the U.S. will open just a few, not a large number. We're going to look at the data and make a decision city by city, county by county, and depending on the circumstances in that particular place. We will not be the first to reopen probably anywhere. He said that's just not how Apple is wired. They want to make sure that things are more than safe before they send uh, people back to work and let people back in their stores. Now, as to getting employees back into Apple campuses, especially in Cupertino, he said he's optimistic about at least early June getting some employees back, but it won't be 100 uh, percent. And he doesn't see getting to 100 percent very quickly. They are going to take their time with this, and they're also going to be doing temperature checks health screenings. They're going to be focused on how they social distance, making sure people are wearing masks. He said they are considering testing employees for COVID-19. They're looking into that. Uh, it has not been finalized, but that is something that they are exploring.